I've heard down here you've got, you know, like your season's basically. There's no, there's no season. Through whatever and then. There's no season. So it's pretty much sales I mean, going on. I was, I was looking at that. You've got pretty much sales going on. Yeah, here. if you want them. The reason it's seasonal is because agents take off in the winter. You know, they have this thing in their mind that it's slower. And so they quit working. Okay. Maybe there is less transactions. I don't know. I can't. I don't. I. I, I can't. I don't have time to count. I'm too okay. busy. I'm too busy trying to do deals. Mm -hmm. If you stay busy, then you'll be busy. If you take off for Thanksgiving, and Halloween, and Christmas, and New Year's, then you. Hey. What's up? Hey, bro. How you doing? I can finally Good put a name you, with a face now. Yeah. Everything going okay? Yeah. Good. Come on up. You want to sit down? We, we, we were doing almost eight hours a day of phone calls. Yeah. And, uh... Well, that's good. And we, but, they was, Ricky. We, we were spending three-fourths of our time dealing with, uh, moon time? Yeah. And we were having trouble making the connection. I mean, we were spending three-quarters of our time trying to find out who owned what. Mm -hmm. And we weren't out able to do anything and it was a team thing i mean that's yeah. this is where we had like three of us calling uh two of us would show the other two would close that kind of thing mm -hmm. and we just never could make it we'd get a few folks interested every once in a while but it just never did i mean you're doing that every single day you never leave the office and you're trying to find out who owns what through a service that how long did you do that for Oh, Lord. Probably about six months. Mm -hmm. It was that long. I mean, we were all kind of fizzling. I mean, the biggest thing is, is try stuff till you find something that works. Exactly. If it's not working, try something else, you yeah. know? And so... Um, so that would have been the time that you started to try something else. Six months is too long. I well, see. But... If I don't feel I, like something's I working after... To get, and I was trying to get out of the... The team thing, but I didn't know how to do it. It was, it was one of the things that won't hurt anybody's feelings, but at the same time, mm. I could tell that wasn't going anywhere very yeah. fast. Yeah. So anyway, now I'm make a long story short. Me and I, he contacted me, he wanted me to come back over and try again. And what we were talking about doing was me doing the phone calling, and whoever I could, you know, as I could find people, turn it over to him, and we would come up with a, a, a split on how to do Sounds that. Sounds like another team and so, disaster. Yeah. <laughs> and so the other day I was talking to him and he said something about his financial assistant looking at him and saying, uh, so you're going to buy leaves again. And I thought, I don't want to go through this again with another person. So because the other one he had, we kind of... Why don't you just do your own thing? probably scared to some degree and I didn't know what I was doing. Well fears is fear. I mean it's are you in real estate up there? I've been, in, I've been in that area. I'm just now getting back into Have it. you ever it's sold real estate no, successfully? Yeah. Mm hmm Well it's the same but the problem you was like in the Loosedale area is your market's not that you're not gonna make a whole lot of money there because of the house Doesn't matter. and that kind of thing. It's all the same stuff though. Yeah. It's all know. just trying to help people buy, you know, help them buy and sell stuff. It's more lucrative down here, you know, because there's more people and there's more turnover the condos. Well, the thing was, I swore I'd never get back into it again until I was into it 150%. Mm -hmm. And back then, I just didn't, I mean, I did that probably, I don't know how long. And I just didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I, there, there's not really a guide to real estate. But, but, you, but you learned a lot through that. Oh, yes, sir. I so, learned a whole lot yeah, through so it. So now you're not the same and person so, you no, was. No, 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 no. And so now I'm at a point where I want to get back into it. But now I know more about how to through you, through other people I've talked to. Through, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to get back into it and wind up sitting there doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, And I know starting out, you're not, you know, you're not going to set the woods on fire starting out. But at the same time, depends on what you, what your definition of setting the woods on fire is. Having, I mean, starting out, and you're doing. Some people get in this and think they're going to do three closings a week. Well, see, you're down the water right there. 
because you're basing setting the war, the woods on fire on mm -hmm. closings mm -hmm. and deals. Mm -hmm. So you're you're done right there. But if you can actually connect with say two or three people a day, you're setting the war, you're setting the woods on fire. Okay. Doesn't matter if you have closings. Uh, that's the reason I want to come talk to you. Just because quit worrying about closings. Closings will come from you taking care of people. If you can, if you can communicate with people and get them to like you and feel comfortable with you, mm -hmm. you know, then you got them. Then you have. I do the weekly email to stay in touch with them. You know. Um, I'll if you can to sign up with you, but so mm -hmm. I, just, I just wanted to put a name with the face. I'm fixing to get them on your sign up with you. Yeah, I'm yeah. Listening to you. I'm yeah. listening to your book. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm just at a point now where I really want to give it another shot, but I understand it's going to take time to get from point A to point B. But if you're if you're putting everything you can put into it, I think you'll get results. If you play with it and not do anything except waiting on somebody to come through that door down there. Mm -hmm. You either want it or you don't. Exactly. You're either going to do it or you're not. Exactly. But you got to get your priorities straight with what the results are. Exactly. The results aren't the closings. You Making know, that's the not what. Yeah. Making Connecting with people long term. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the closings will come from doing that well. Mm -hmm. You can't make somebody buy or sell something, you know, or you can't. Whatever y'all were doing over there, I don't know what you were doing when you were calling people. But it was wrong. Well, the way it was set up was, and I, and I don't think any of us knew what we were doing. Anything. We mm -hmm. were just all kind of trying to figure out what to do. I hand them off to us. Well, you've already got a buyer going, you know, this with all the things that are happening. No relationship. No relationship. Because you're getting juggled around. Exactly. And we probably lost more people that way. Yeah. Than we gained because we were just. So the thing was, I started looking around. I mm -hmm. went down this strip, and all I see is your signs and Paradise, Bob Shallow. Yeah. And I don't know who this new group is. Um, Bellator or? Uh, you know, it's uh, Southern Realty or something. I see a lot of their signs. Southern. It's down the road here. It ain't, yeah. It's just a little off. Yeah. But, uh, so I'm sitting here thinking, at first, I thought, no, I don't want to be in those big boys' offices because I thought, yeah. how in the world are you going to deal with that? But then I listened to what you were saying mm -hmm. about, well, if you're around it, you learn and mm -hmm. you, that sort of thing. Yeah. Plus, you're not competing with them. Yeah. And that was a, you changed my mind and my thinking on a lot of things through mm -hmm. these, your YouTube things yeah. and your book and all. Mm -hmm. Because... At first, I thought it was me versus you. Right, right. And it's not me versus you. It's me working with you. It's you versus you. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you're in competition with yourself. I mean, business is unlimited. Nobody can... There's not market share. It doesn't <laughs> exist. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I guess the other thing kind of made me nervous down here. You've got how many agents down here on this coast? Uh, well, there's 2,500, I think, in the whole county, and then you probably got maybe, probably half of those here, down here. So probably 1,000, 1,200. And then that, you know, it's like, man, how you going to compete? Well, 80% of them don't do anything. See, and that's when I got to listening to some of the things you were saying, and mm -hmm. it made sense. I thought, well... The gist I've gotten out of all of it, it's going to be whatever you put into it. And if you don't put anything into it, you're not going to get anything out of it. Yeah. I mean, that's the first part of it. And you got to be hungry. Yeah. And boy, I'm not hungry. Not financially, but mm -hmm. just... just You just want to achieve. Yeah. Just ambitious. Yeah. Well, I mean, quit worrying about stuff and don't be scared. You know? You worried guess, about? I guess what makes me nervous is mm. this. This other thing didn't work. The what? This other deal that we were doing didn't work over here. The team thing. What? Well, yeah. What makes you nervous about that? It. Uh, I guess the way I look at it, anything I've ever dove into, I've been pretty successful at. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I ever got into. They just kind of. 
Mm-hmm. And you think through that, you're thinking, I want to get into that again, even though I'm not getting into that. Mm-hmm. It's just a real estate thing in and of itself. Is mm-hmm. this for me? Is it really something I want to pursue? Mm-hmm. And I've been battling with that question now for probably, I don't know how long, but. Why do you want to do it? I like, I, in, in my background is, is working with people. I love helping somebody. Mm-hmm. And if I can put that with helping a person find a home, a condom, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be, second home. I love building relationships. I love working with people. I see where I can do that with real estate through building relationships, through getting to know people. That's the thing. I'm a people person. I enjoy talking and getting to know folks. And this is a way I see where I can plug into it and make money at it. And Why don't you just do it like that? Well, the other thing is that I, that's the reason I'm here. I've heard down here you've got you know, like your season's basically... There's no there's no season. Through whatever and then... There's no season. So it's pretty much I sales mean, going on. I was, I was looking at that. You've got pretty much sales going on. Yeah, year. if you want them. The reason it's seasonal is because agents take off in the winter. You know? They have this thing in their mind that it's slower. And so they quit working. Okay. Maybe there is less transactions. I don't know. I can't, I don't, I, I, I can't, I don't have time to count. I'm too busy, I'm too busy trying to do deals. If you stay busy, then you'll be busy. If you take off for Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas and New Year's, then you, hey. Yeah. Any kind of season? There is no season, man, you know? I mean, there's a season if you want it to be a season, you know what I'm saying? I hate all this like mainstream mindset stuff, seasonal, you know, just all of it, man. It's just all a bunch of garbage. So the way you look at it, in a nutshell, again, is you get out of it what you put into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all year long, regardless if the market crashes or whatever. People, closings still happen every day. Closings are happening every single day. Through the winter, markets ups and downs, everything. People, which means what? People are have, dis, have, have made a decision every single day to buy or sell something and sign a contract to do so. You know, this agent down in Naples, Florida, she, she messaged me and said that the sellers down there don't realize the market's slowing down and she can't get any of them to to realize it and come down on their price. They're all really wealthy and they don't have to sell. They don't care and all this stuff, you know, and she's just suffering. And I said, well, I said, go to your MLS and pull up and see it have closings been happening every day. She's like, I don't have to go to MLS. I can just tell you, yeah, they're happening every day. I said, so there's people out there that are making decisions, even when it's slower and this market has changed to do something, right? She's like, yeah. I said, well, quit focusing on the people that don't want to do stuff or that she, she's focusing on the people that don't really want to sell or need to sell. When there's, peop- when there's people in the market that are buying and selling, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you can either focus on, you know, the fact that there's lower transactions and, and, and the market's changing and stuff, or you can realize that, wait, there's closings happening. I need to find these people that are doing these deals, you know? I mean, it's every day. I could work 24 seven, you know, without sleeping every day and just do deals all day long, just all day for 365 days for the rest of my life. But you gotta sleep. And where are you gonna draw the line and, you know, eat lunch and hang out with people? So anyway, you're confirming a lot of what I was thinking Mm-hmm. But I uh, just just gotta hear it. Huh? Gotta so hear people it. go to seminars, you know. They know it all. They already know. They already know all this stuff. They just gotta hear it. It's like phone cures some people. You know what? You know what? 
might be a little bit scary for me for you what's that is the fact that you already know all this stuff you already been there and done that and you still aren't taking action <clears throat> you know because there's these people that go to seminars and they just go to seminars for their whole life and they never do anything you know and they know what to do they just don't do it because they're scared to take the action but they think if they keep going to that next seminar or next seminar or next seminar they're going to learn something something's going to trigger something's going to happen some breakthrough's going to happen you know but it never does unless you do it you know you need to do the 90 day action plan that i have on the website mm -hmm. just do the 90 day action plan just call property owners you know two or three hours a day you know do the postcards figure out which building you want to hit and start attacking and start getting to know the owners and make friends and then just being out in the marketplace you're, you're going to doing that you're going to meet other people that want to do stuff too and just always have the right intention you know to help not to do a deal you know not to do the deal just to help them yeah. see they the reason there's closings every day even when the market crashes and interest rates go up and all this it's because people aren't buying and selling because they want to just buy and sell a piece of property because the market's good. They're buying and selling because something's going on in their life. You know, somebody died, somebody had a baby, some, you know, they lost a job. It's a life, something's going on in their life that yeah. they have to sell or they need to buy or whatever, you know, or they just want to take money out to put it in stocks or they took it out of stocks and want to put it in real estate or whatever. You know, they're doing something that's for a bigger reason than just that property. And so, so when you realize that it's all about just helping people through their life, what they're doing in their life, not just to buy this property, you know, you look at it differently. You don't, you don't ask them like I did have a listing appointment today and got it signed. And, but I don't, I don't normally get lit. I don't get a lot of listings signed when I go to listing appointments because I'm not trying to get them to sign. You know what I'm saying? Um, I never asked him if he wanted a list. I just told him what it was worth and he said, let's put it on the market. I started filling out the listing agreement, you know? We were talking about what he's done his whole life, you know, and why he wants to sell and all that, you know? I wanted to know why, what's going on. So, it's easy, man. Well, for the last six months, I've been working with my son. He does, he does some things with parts, car parts, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And with me trying to get my, figuring out what I was going to do in my life. But right. anyway, so I see what you're saying. I see where you're going. Yeah, with it. And, I, and I think I was caught in the one thing you were talking about, where somebody just spends so much time trying to learn. Yeah. That they don't do what they're being what they're what they're what they've learned exactly good to see you thank man. you so much i Absolutely. appreciate you taking some time yeah for sure and uh i look forward to it enjoy the rest of the day and just hit me up if you need something i'm fixing to have some surgery done yeah but after about three weeks of healing and all i'm gonna come back we're gonna talk okay have a good day thank you so yeah, much yeah man no problem i am what i am today because i did it my way